adik-adik LKC, apa kabarnya? Senang sekali, pada minggu ini Kania bisa nemenin adik-adik semua di ibadah LKC pada hari ini Nah, sebelum kita mulai, yuk Kania mau ajak kita untuk berdoa dulu Nah, adik-adik boleh tutup mata, boleh lipat tangan Yuk, mari kita berdoa Tuhan Yesus, terima kasih Tuhan atas hari yang sangat indah pada hari ini yang telah kau berikan bagi kami Tuhan. Sebentar lagi kami akan memulai ibadah LKC kami Tuhan. Biar engkau yang pimpin ibadah kami dari awal sampai dengan akhirnya Tuhan. Kami serahkan ibadah kami pada hari ini. Hanya di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus kami sudah berdoa dan mengucap syukur. Haleluya. Amin. Nah adik-adik tema kita di bulan Juli ini adalah Press Play. Get in the mix Nah adik-adik tema ini masih berbicara tentang confidence Adik-adik masih inget nggak confidence itu apa? Nah confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you Nah true confidence tidak dibangun berdasarkan pandangan orang lain terhadap kita loh adik-adik Tapi true confidence dibangun di atas dasar kasih Tuhan terhadap kita Mengapa Tuhan menciptakan kita dan bagaimana dia memandang kita Nah karya Yesus di kayu salib telah menjadi bukti yang terkuat bagaimana Tuhan mengasihi kita adik-adik Nah ini adalah dasar kita untuk berdiri teguh dan put confidence in yourself Oke sekarang Kania mau ngajak adik-adik semua untuk memuji Tuhan Tapi sebelumnya kita mau nonton video yang satu ini dulu ya Who are you? Yeah, you, right there. I bet you know of a lot of ways to answer that question. You could tell us your name, first and last, the day you were born, your grade in school. You might even tell us the street you live on. You could give your height and your eye color. You might even tell us about your parents or your siblings. And all of those things would give us a picture of who you are on the outside. But if you follow Jesus, there's something even more important happening on the inside. In the Bible, we discover truths that Jesus spoke and promises that God inspired people like the Apostle Paul to write down. And these truths paint a powerful picture of who you truly are. God says that you are a child of God. You are a friend of Jesus. You are a brand new person in Christ. You are forgiven. You are uniquely designed for good works that only you can do. You can go to God at any time for any reason. God will provide everything you need. That, my friends, is the true story of who you are. And it's a wonderful feeling. When you live with confidence, knowing that you are already loved and chosen, others can see God at work in you. That's why confidence is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. The reason why my feet can't stop, my heart can't help but sing. It's a wonderful feeling to feel your love for me, to feel the joy you bring. Your love is the answer, so I sing to you. The reason is you, Jesus. You're why I'm singing now. The reason is you, Jesus. Cross, you set me free, and I'm thankful that you love me. Whoa, oh, 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 I'm thankful that you love me. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. I know the reason why my hands are up, my feet dance down below. It's a wonderful feeling that I. 
One, two, one, two. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Yeah. Press play! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus, we know we belong here because of your love for us that goes on and on forever. Jesus, we know you are with us wherever we go. Sing along 
Kita sudah memuji nama Tuhan Sebentar lagi kita mau mendengarkan firman Tuhan Sebelumnya kita mau berdoa dulu yuk Kita mau lipat tangan dan tutup mata Mari kita berdoa Terima kasih Tuhan Yesus Kami sudah memuji dan memuliakan namamu Kami sudah bersora, kami sudah menyanyi untuk engkau Tuhan Sekarang waktunya kami untuk mendengarkan firmanmu Tuhan Biar kau yang persiapkan setiap hati kami Tuhan Untuk mendengarkan firmanmu Tuhan Agar apa yang tertabur Tuhan Yesus dalam hati kami dapat berbuah lebat Tuhan Terima kasih Tuhan Kami serahkan semuanya di dalam tanganmu Hai di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kami sudah berdoa dan mengucap syukur Haleluya, amin Hey everybody, I'm Graham. I've always had the dream of becoming a professional singer. The wheels of the bus go round and round all through the town. I'm kind of afraid to perform in front of other people, but lately I've been starting to gain confidence. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. I think it might help if I didn't have to perform all alone. Like maybe if I was in a band with a guitar player and someone on the drums and maybe a keyboardist. I think a band is the way to go for me. I wonder how we would all sound together. Two, three, four! The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the... Well, despite how that sounded, I, I actually did feel more confident. So I guess what they say is true. There is strength in numbers. Or there's confidence in numbers. With the band, you never feel like you're alone. In today's story, we'll hear about three guys who were in a really hot situation. But they didn't have to face it alone. I wonder if my band needs a brass section. No, probably not. See you soon. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. 
the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Daniel, chapter 3. King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon liked to go big. Build me a statue. Of course, your majesty. Granite, marble, <laughs> copper. I'm thinking gold. Gold? Pure gold. Wow. Okay. Six feet tall. Seven. Taller. Twenty. Taller. Seventy-seven. Taller. Ninety. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. We'll need a super-sized furnace to smelt that much gold. Then supersize it. Commence the smelting. So the king's craftsmen melted down tons of gold and shaped it into an enormous statue nine feet wide and taller than two and a half telephone poles. They set it just outside the city in the broad plain of Dura. Mmm, such a finely smelted specimen. We must invite everyone to admire my statue. So the king instructed messengers to summon all of his officials. Three of them were Jewish men who had come to Babylon as captives, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It's a royal decree. That I can see. Are you all coming with me? So the three friends arrived at the plain of Dura where all the other officials had gathered. A messenger from the king called out loudly, this is the king's command. When you hear the sound of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes, you must fall down and worship this golden statue. Worship a false god? That's worse than odd. I wouldn't even give it a nod. Oh, and FYI, if you don't do it, you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace. <laughs> Immediately, music began to play. Every single official threw themselves down on the ground except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And let me tell you, their refusal to bow did not go unnoticed. Who do they think they are? I think we should make things hot for them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Several officials dusted themselves off and went straight to the king. King Nebuchadnezzar, may you live forever. Thanks. Will do. You told everyone to bow down. As soon as they hear the sounds of the horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes. But these Jews you appointed don't serve your gods. They refuse to worship your gold statue. Even when they hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes? Even when they hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes. Oh, now I am very angry in a very big way. The king sent for the three friends. Is what I hear about you true? Don't you serve my gods and worship the gold statue I set up? We will not bow. Even when you hear the sounds of horns, flutes, zithers, lyres, harps, and pipes? We refuse to kowtow. Even though you'll be thrown into a blazing furnace? This ends now. Even if we're thrown into a blazing furnace, the one true God will save us. But even if he didn't, we still wouldn't serve your gods or bow down to some golden statue. Uh, that didn't rhyme. Nebuchadnezzar's face burned red as a ripe tomato. <sighs> Make the fire seven times hotter. Tie them up, throw them in. The king's strongest soldiers grabbed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They knotted heavy ropes around the three friends and then shoved them into the roaring flames. The king peered into the blue, hot heart of the flames and then leapt back in surprise. Didn't we throw three men into the fire? And they all deserved it. Look, I see four men walking around untied. The fire hasn't harmed them. The fourth man, Looks like a son of the gods. Sure enough, a fourth figure stood there with the three friends. An angel? Or perhaps Jesus himself? Dumbfounded, the king rushed to the door of the furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, you who serve the most high God, come out. The three friends walked out of the scorching flames 
completely unharmed. The royal officials crowded around to see. Their hair isn't singed. Their robes haven't burned. They don't even smell like smoke. King Nebuchadnezzar was so impressed that, as usual, he went big. May the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be praised. He has sent his angel and saved his servants who trusted in him. No other god can save people this way. So, I'm giving an order about the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No one may say anything against him. Well, what happens if somebody does? Well, they'll be snipped in tiny pieces and their homes turned into piles of trash. Go, God. Go, God. Go, 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 God. Go, God. Go, God. Go, 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 God. The king even honored Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and gave them higher positions in the kingdom. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had a ton of confidence, didn't they? They stood for what was right even when they knew what was at stake. And they stood together. All three were thrown into the fiery furnace and miraculously they weren't alone. God was in there with them the whole time. That's how it is with us too. God is always with us. In fact, after Jesus died and came back to life, one of the last things he said to his disciples was this. You can be sure that I am always with you to the very end. So that means when you have to do something scary, God is with you. When you feel like you're too tired to move, God is with you. When you need strength, God is with you. And when you're with a band of friends who know you and care about you, God is also there with you. God loves you so much and he won't let you face this life alone. So here's the one thing to remember today. Trust that God is always with you. Remind yourself when you're feeling less than confident that you are never alone. Well, I should probably get in some practice with my band. Didn't sound very good earlier. I think we need a little Band-Aid. Get it? Band-Aid? I'll see you next time. Nah, adik-adik. Pada minggu ini, Tuhan mau kita belajar bahwa Trust that God is always with you. Nah, tidak hanya Tuhan begitu setia kepada Sadrak, Mesak, dan Abednego, Tuhan juga telah membuktikan kesetiaannya kepada setiap umatnya. Oleh karena itu, kita dapat hidup dengan percaya bahwa Tuhan selalu menyertai kita dalam segala hal, adik-adik. Nah, adik-adik ibadah pada minggu ini sudah selesai. Yuk, kan yang mau ajak kita berdoa lagi sekali lagi. Mari kita berdoa. Terima kasih Tuhan Yesus, kami sudah muji dan muliakan namamu, kami juga sudah mendengarkan firmanmu Tuhan, kiranya setiap firman Tuhan yang tertabur menjadi berbuah Tuhan dalam setiap hati kami Tuhan Yesus. Terima kasih Tuhan, ibadah kami sudah selesai, kami serahkan semuanya ke dalam tanganmu Bapak, berkati juga setiap kami Tuhan, berkati keluarga kami Bapak. Terima kasih Tuhan, hanya di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus kami sudah berdoa dan mengucap syukur. Haleluya. Amin. Sampai ketemu minggu depan, adik-adik. Tuhan Yesus menyertai. Bye.